No matter where your feelings are on a political spectrum, the plight of a refugee is hard to ignore. From the old to the very young, they all risk injury or death looking for a better life. The local artist was inspired by that migration and used birds as her messengers. And then she brought many artists together to create an immersive experience for guests. Michelle and photojournalist Eric Lahr give us a look. We are at the Oliver Art Center in Frankfurt checking out a brand new exhibit. We are lucky enough to be chatting with the artist herself, Ellie Harold. This is Birds Fly In. Ellie, tell us a little bit about the inspiration for this very interactive, immersive experience. Several years ago, um, my painting style changed quite a bit, and I went from being a landscape painter and, and began painting these black shapes that revealed themselves to me to be birds. And the birds to me became intuitive messengers of hope and healing. And I began to just sort of welcome them onto my canvas and to see where they would lead me. And they eventually <laughs> led me to making large paintings that I believed had a place in the world and that they could be helpful. And so I felt that the birds had this beautiful message of something more than what divides us. Okay. that they would take us to something more essential. Yes, hope. You want this to be hope in the end and, and, and a positive experience. And so when you come here, you get a user's guide and a pencil, and you're going to just walk us through. Kind of tell us how people can, can experience this. Okay, so there's a, a distinction. There's the out, what I call the outside. So the outside refers to just one of humanity's challenges today, and that is what first inspired me, which was news about immigration, challenges, um, as I said, at the southern border, news of children being uh, detained in cages, much like, right. like this one. And these are actually shoes that were taken in, in Mexico, people trying to come to the United States. Yes, these shoes were dropped off at um, a halfway stopping point in central Mexico. They've been very worn by people um, who probably walked, at this point, over a thousand miles. Sure. And, and then you have these outside paintings you say are a little more angry. A little of. bit more, you know, I was listening to uh, the news <laughs> in the summer, last summer, when it seemed like there was um, an acceleration of detentions um, in our country and deportations. So we, we designed it so that this, even though this is the most obvious entrance, we made this no entry. Okay. Because we wanted to give people the experience of what it's like to be told, you can't come here. Right. Okay. You can't enter this way. So we go around. Oh, we're going to go around. All we're right. We're going to go around the outside. You see on the outside poems that were written by local uh, writers who engaged with some of these um, more edgy um, paintings and with the shoes. And these were poems that came out of their so experience. So all local poems on the yes. local writers. And, and then as we're listening to this music, too, this is also part of this experience. Yes, the music is a very important part. Um, when I decided to go forward with this project, I was in San Miguel de Allende, Mexico, and I heard the sweet, soulful violin music of my music collaborator, David Mendoza. Uh -huh. I engaged him. With, and now you can enter here. <laughs> we can enter here, okay. And so I commissioned David to create an hour, actually 63 minutes worth of music, and he was totally on board. He saw my paintings for the first time in Mexico on my laptop, and he said, <gasps> he says, that's what I see. When I close my eyes and play violin, he says, that's what I see. So we wow. had a, a, a deep connection. And then you're encouraging people to come, you know, have a seat, and experience everything here. Yes, to come in, to get quiet, I suggest people just take a few deep breaths, to let the music and let the art fill their heart and soul. That's how this entire exhibit came into being. Yeah, and it's here till September 11th. It's here till September 11th. There you go, so you can come here, experience this for yourself if you want more information about the Oliver Art Center, where this is located, how to get here, how to experience this, you can head to our website, 9and10news.com.
And the birds go up. Oh, so incredible, Michelle. I felt like I was there as she was walking you through everything. It is, it's, it is an experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, and she said that the average person, no matter what gallery or museum you might be at, looks yeah. at a piece of art for 17 seconds. Really? So her goal is like, if I can get someone to look at a painting for like a couple minutes. Yes. You know, that that in enough in it itself is, is right. enough. So And there's yeah. just so much meaning behind it. How can you not right. want to experience that? And and there are a lot of team players. I mean you yeah. can read about it in the pamphlet if you go. Um, a lot of people involved locally mm -hmm. putting everything together. So oh, amazing. Yeah. And we'll have more from the Oliver Art Center coming up in just a little bit too.